Hello guys, what is up? Welcome to today's vlog. I look like trash, just trash. Today is Friday and I let myself sleep in. I let myself stay in bed until noon. And honestly, it was lovely. I never let myself do that. Today I wanna do like a little self-care afternoon. Put on a face mask, take a nice warm shower. Today's Friday, I have a game night planned on Zoom for a little bit later, so I want to look a little bit better than how I'm looking currently. For no real reason, just for the sake of wanting to look good. This morning I was just like, I want to vlog. I just don't know what the fuck to be doing. Cause I, you know, there's days during this quarantine, you just want to like lay on the couch and scroll on your computer and do nothing. So I think for this next week, I kind of want to just like plan out the vlogs, film them in advance and then post them through the week so that I have like a little bit of downtime here. I really want to stick to the upload schedule without like causing you know, stress. An hour ago or so, I was just like scrolling through all these photos of my family and I was just getting so sad. I was just literally just scrolling, listening to sad music and I started crying and I was just looking at my family and feeling really sad, but also really lucky that, you know, they're all safe and at home together. And also just, my God, I think about it every single day, how lucky I am that my dad was here like literally one week before they announced the stay at home order in California. My dad was here like literally right before that. And we were just out hiking and doing things like regular things. And obviously we had no idea that that was like gonna be so special a month from then. <laughs> so grateful that the last person I really got to spend solid time with out in the world was my dad. So lucky. Like, we had no idea this was gonna happen. I have no idea when I'm gonna see my family again. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> People ask me all the time if I wanted to go home during this. <sighs> half of me really wishes I was there. Like, but then the other half of me knows it would be a lot harder for me over there. Like, yes, I would be with my family, but I wouldn't be able to do anything that I normally do. So I would feel even more isolated and like my entire life just changed like my life still feels relatively normal i just i just know it's not but i'm really not going to complain that's not what i've wanted to do in these vlogs because there's no point i'm very privileged to be in the situation that i am and there's really no complaining i can do at all and this isn't even complaining i just miss my family so that's that yeah it's three o'clock right now and what am i dad yeah yeah, so I'm gonna start this off by doing a little face mask. I'm gonna let that sit for like 15, 20, and then I will get in the shower and rinse it off in the shower. It's easier that way. So let's go. Welcome to my affordably lit bathroom. What face mask shall we do? I'm going to use the infamous Indian healing clay. And you're supposed to mix this with water or apple cider vinegar in a bowl, but I really don't wanna put that extra step into it. So, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it in the lid. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna use a little Amazon mask thing. Okay, so we're gonna scoop some of this. And then I think you just do like an even ratio of water and then you mix. Here we go, mix and mixy. All right, let me just refix this bun. Look at my hair, that's bad. Okay, looking my best. Let's just go for it. Oh, this feels great with this little applicator. Oh yeah, I will highly recommend getting these things. I'm gonna link it down below. Feels so much nicer than applying with my fingers. Just a nice Friday afternoon face mask. I will also link this mask down below. It's very, very highly rated on Amazon. Okay, great. Not the most aesthetically pleasing face mask in the world, but you know what? Who gives a crap? See, the beauty of this silicone applicator is that it comes off like right away because it's silicone. So easy. Face mask is on. I can feel it starting to dry already. So I'm going to just chill, sit downstairs for the next like 15, 20 minutes. And then we will take a shower. It is gonna be so nice. It's now four o'clock. I was waiting for it to like totally dry over here, but like I can't move my face at all. And honestly, it really hurts like to move. It's very tight, very tight. So we are hopping into the shower. I'm taking this thing off because I literally cannot speak. <laughs> I can't smile or anything. I am feeling significantly better. I feel so good. Let me show you guys what I used in the shower. If you didn't watch my vlog last week or something, I showed you guys, but I'll show you guys what I used today. Let me set you up in here. <laughs> little steamy in here. Welcome to my shower. So last time I showed you guys what's in my shower, everyone was really mad at me for using the Kylie Skin Walnut Scrub. I haven't had any problems with it. I've used it for months. My skin is obviously 
pretty okay. I didn't use it today though because you guys freaked me out. But for my shampoo, we have the Living Proof Color Care Shampoo. I also have the conditioner, but today I decided to use this guy, which is the Not Your Mother's Smooth and Soften Conditioner. I'll link all of this down below in case you're curious. I obviously took off the face mask and then I just washed my face with this Sugar Rush Squeezy Clean. I have no idea if this is a good product or not, but I just figured I would throw it on. For my body wash, we have the uh, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay <laughs> Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. It just smells really yummy. If you guys have ever smelled Bum Bum Cream, like that lotion, that is the exact smell. That was about it. So now, let's uh, throw some stuff on my face now that I have taken off my mask. When I get out of the shower, I always use the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I just spray it all over and then I brush through. The brush that I use is actually a wet brush. It's meant for wet hair, so don't come at me for brushing my hair when it's wet. It is specifically for this purpose, and it's amazing. I'm just gonna let it air dry. No need for any extra heat. And then the skincare line we're gonna use today is Real Real Beauty, like this. They sent me their whole line, and since I get like a lot of product, it's hard to ever like really test something thoroughly. So I'm just gonna use all this except for the cleanser, just because I just cleansed my face. So we're gonna use their balancing toner, the Daily Zen, and then I'm gonna use one of my little reusable cotton rounds. Oh, it smells nice. Not a spa, like a. Like, what, like an actual facial that you pay someone for. Also, my skin looks really red, but it's just the, actually, it's not just the lighting. That's my face. Oh my God. Well, I don't think it's the product. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes my skin gets red. Not often though. Next up, we're gonna use the Advanced Antioxidant Serum. Looks like this. I do feel like a little bit of burning right now. My face is definitely more red than it usually is. But I'm not gonna blame it on the product. I really think I just do a lot on the face today. And the last thing we're gonna use is the nourishing gel cream. I actually really like the packaging. I think it's really cool. Actually, just to continue with this self-care, I'm gonna use a little roller here. And just roll my face. Oh, this actually feels so nice. It's so cold. I always forget to do this. I really like the way it feels. My face is calming down, as you can see. The redness is going away. Okay, back on the couch. Favorite place to be, only place to be. The redness is going down, as you can see, actually it doesn't look red at all anymore. I'm just gonna sit here in my bathrobe, which I always wear for like way too long after getting out of the shower. Like I just kind of wear it around the house. There's something about it, it's just so cozy. I'm actually feeling so much better. I feel like my skin looks good. I feel, I just feel good. I feel like if you just take a little bit of your day and do some kind of self care, it really changes the whole mood. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab my laptop. Do some shit on there. I have no idea. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll play some Sims. Uh. Looking my best. Thank you very much. Happy Friday. To top it off, we are gonna throw on some fuzzy socks. And that's gonna be it. <laughs> Feeling my absolute best this Friday. But I am going to think have some hummus and some crackers. This is the Sabra roasted garlic hummus. And then I have these pretzel crisps from the snack factory. They are garlic parmesan, so yummy. You know, it's been a nice, relaxing, rainy Friday in, and I'm very excited that it's the weekend, because I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna take it easy for once. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't even know what to talk about. There's nothing to talk about, because there's nothing new happening in the world. It's just this, which is what makes it so much harder to vlog. I don't know what to do, so I eat. <laughs> okay, Lily finished my hummus. Very sad, I'm gonna have to get groceries soon, but we were told not to go get groceries this week, so I don't really know what, I'm gonna do, and I can't just go without groceries. I might have to get a Postmate to go. You're back in my fridge. I don't know why, actually. I was just gonna make tea, which is right over here, so. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make some English tea time black tea. Don't judge me. I am a microwave tea kind of girl. Didn't realize the significance of this mug when I got it, but actually my aunt got it for me as a housewarming gift because I am such a homebody, and now the cup just makes so much more sense. It's very cute, it's from Anthropology. I'll link it down below if I can find it online, but it's, it's definitely got a different meaning now. I also always add my sugar-free French vanilla coffee creamer to my tea, and it's so good. Like I literally just crave the flavor of this. It's like so dark and cozy in here, I just wanna curl up in a ball. All right, it's just about eight o'clock. I had dinner, I totally forgot to show you, but I just had some sweet potato gnocchi that I had left over from yesterday. And I'm gonna do something about my hair for my Zoom call. I don't really have to, but I'm just gonna. So what I'm gonna do for my hair is I'm just gonna use my Revlon One Step and like blow it out. It should take like one minute max. This is the greatest blow dry brush situation ever. I'm gonna link it down below. It's legit amazing. I'm gonna use 
the Gizu, Gizu, I don't know how to say it, heat protecting spray. And now we blow dry. And suddenly you have a fresh blowout. Last thing I'm gonna do is a squirt of this guy. This is dry bar treatment oil. I will have it linked down below. I use this all the time. And just like that, I'm feeling much better. My entire life, I could never master blow drying my hair. Every time I did it, it would just make my hair really fluffy and just horrible. And then I got the one step blow dry brush and um, it changed the game. Yeah, you can just see it has like so much body and bounce and it just looks so healthy. But yeah, it is uh, eight o'clock now. We're gonna get on our Zoom game night in the, the next few minutes, I guess. So I guess I should prepare myself with a claw. Yum! In case you're wondering, black cherry is my favorite. Cheers, ladies and gents. Drinking solo. <laughs> feels really wrong to drink a white claw by yourself. Like I could have a glass of wine at night and be like, ah, this feels very adult and cute. This feels like, like wrong to drink alone. You know, this is like a party drink. And obviously I'm aware I'm getting on a call with friends. Like I know I'm not really drinking alone, but I physically am drinking alone, which feels weird. Even though I know it's not weird and this is like the state of the world right now, but yeah. And like White Claws are the same as a beer, essentially, 5%. So it's really nothing crazy. Just something about it. Something about a White Claw makes me feel alone tonight. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I could. <laughs> I'm getting another drink. Good work, Tara. Thank you. Okay, so it's now one in the morning. Um, we were just on FaceTime for five hours and I'm gonna go into bed with a snack. It was a very fun night and um, it's time for bed. So I'm gonna grab a snack and head up. <laughs> <laughs> 